is up Gilly Crew and welcome back. In front of me I have two items to review and test. Yes, it's Feachi. I said I wouldn't own Feachi products, but they were sent to me to do the review on. So in this one we have the FL series and this one here is the WL25. One has a strobe light compatibility, one does not. I can't remember which one is which. I think it's this one here. But we'll get into that. So we're going to start with the brown box here. The FL series. And let's crack her open. I already unboxed them because it was not labeled on what it was when it arrived. Inside this one is, yes, the FL user manual. And inside you get a mount with an Allen key. Your battery charger, which takes one at a time. And then you get two batteries with it. You also get a pressure switch. The charger cable itself that plugs into this right here. And then you get the flashlight, which is unbranded, but we will see how it does. We're going to do all this together. I will also have the links down in the description for both of these since they were sent to me out of the kindness of the company to do this review for you guys. Okay, so flashlight one, really bright. Let's see. It says it can last in cold weather. This one doesn't have all the details like the other one does on the box. So, you guys can see it. And this is just the regular flashlight. And then obviously I will demonstrate. I've done this several times. It gives you a picture of which way the battery goes. So that would just place in there. Then you would get your little cord right here. Plugs into any USB style device. And it goes just like that. And then now for the pressure switch, which we will get into. And it is very springy. So make sure when you guys undo this, it does have like a spring power to push it. And it will kind of launch itself off sometimes like it almost did. Now I will not be able to replicate that. Yeah kind of springs itself off. So now we'll go on to the pressure switch. Since this one is not a strobe, I will not strobe warning you beforehand, but I will go ahead and hit that pressure switch. And it, is, it does not stay on like a typical flashlight, which is actually maybe, nope, there is actually two different pressure switch controls on it just to keep it on and off this is like perfect for your indoor cqb airsoft where you just want to click it real quick and bright light somebody or check where your tracers are going and then in here you get your mounts for picatinny style mount then your flashlight would obviously slide down in there, which I have the pressure switch on, so I can't demonstrate that at the moment. So let me lay this out real quick so you guys can get a quick view of everything inside the packaging. Minus the extra battery that's in here, you do get that second one. And then we will put this stuff off to the side and then get onto our second one. I will have separate overviews for you guys after we get through this other one. In this one, it's very well packaged. Has a nice fancy box to it. As you guys can see, it does have their branding all over the box. And then this one has specifications on the side. Brightness, 1200 lumens. Um, illumination range is 200 meters. Runtime is one and a half hours. Weight is exactly, precisely, 6.56 ounces. The size, 136 millimeter by 42. They have the link to all their info. Info at Feachi. 
on their email, their website, and Facebook page. And inside, underneath that nice package foam, you get your user manual, which does come in English, which is always nice to have. And then your operating modes and everything else. Um, operating modes on this one, high strobe, fast double tap within four seconds and hold to keep it locked on. And then high only, it has all the different ones. But let's get into this. Has the Picatinny mount for any Picatinny style rail. And no battery in there, so that's a good sign. So we'll go ahead, double batteries once again. A charger, which I'm not going to re-demonstrate. And a bigger style pressure switch than the last one we just unboxed. So we'll check that out as well. You also get that USB charger. You get a Velcro strap. And this one is a little bit more advanced. It also has M-lock style screws. So then you guys can see that as well. And then I believe that is all. So let's get into this flashlight. This one I am going to warn you in advance. There is a strobe light. I do not know if it's going to kick on immediately when I hook this up because we've had other flashlights that we have reviewed just immediately turn itself on as a strobe light, which is not good. Okay, so it did not auto turn itself on. And this one does get very hot. It says do not touch it after use if it's on for a long period of time. So let's see how this goes. Strobe warning once again. If you have seizures with strobe lights, please look away now just in case. Okay, so here is our big bright light shining in on the patches so you guys can see that. Has a nice range to it already and very bright. Strobe warning initiated now. So it is pretty easy to click. This is just barely clicking it. And then you click it real fast for that strobe. Now let's check out the pressure switch on this one, see how it does. Now it may kick on again, just a warning for anyone that has issues. Just want to make sure everybody stays safe out there. Okay, pressure switch is installed. The light did not auto kick on by itself, so let's see what happens. Pressure switch, that is the regular light. And then you can press it again to make the strobe kick on, and it should not do it again. Okay, cool. So there is two parts to this pressure switch. There is a lower, which is just the quick clicks. As you guys can see, I'm going to strobe it. And then our normal bright light. And then you have the solid, which will stay on. And then solid strobe, if you click it twice. Let me figure it out here. There we go. You lightly press it on that one. So your quick blinks. And then every other seems to be the strobe. So be aware of how you operate the single click. But if you flash people real fast, it shouldn't make a difference. But as I said, full click, lightly press, you get your strobe. But it does not like switching back unless you hold it for four seconds. Just a reminder on that. So let's do an overview, guys. And then I will give you my final opinion after testing it at nighttime. Right now it's, a, it's still daylight, so there will be another part after the overview. First one up will be the FL series. And I may just lay them out together so you guys see the difference.
Okay, so here we are with our two Fiat flashlights. This is the FL. This is the WL. So we got a garage right there. Light up the trailer. Goes across the field a good way, as you guys can see. Sorry, it is very cold. You can see the snow. And this is the WL series. That's the strobe. And then there's the light. And as you can see, it can hit my trailer and shines pretty good across the field. Check all my animals if need be, without, with. And then the FL once again, same thing. A little darker over there, so I was able to show you guys a little better. But yeah, you can see, I passed the trailer with the FL. That would be my indoor, and then obviously your strobe. And that is the Feiachi. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, guys, I will see you on the field.